Hello everybody, Backyard Bullion here and welcome to episode 50 of In Focus Friday. Uh, little milestone there guys, episode 50, thank you so much uh, for sticking with this series all the way through. I am actually planning a special kind of anniversary edition on episode 52, which is an exact year that I've been doing this. So uh, just business as usual today, but a special edition coming out soon, so watch this space. Now last week we had a look at the Scottsdale Mint Fancy Bar, it's a really eye-catching piece, so if you haven't seen it yet, please do go have a look. The links in the description below. Thank you so much for everybody for voting as well. Uh, the Prospector was the winner by a clear four vote margin, so thank you so much for voting if you did. The Leopard came in second and the other Scottsdale Bar got zero votes. So we're going to retire that Scottsdale Bar. There will be a vote next week for episode 51, uh, but then there'll be the special episode on 52. So make sure that you stick around to the end of the episode to cast your vote for next week. Now, the Prospector Bar is a really, really eye-catching bar, so I can completely understand why it won. In fact, I was a little bit surprised, actually, when compared with the Leopard, because there's all this sort of hype and, uh, you know, furore about the Leopard at the moment, and I thought that would garner a lot more interest, but the Prospector Bar, I think, is just really phenomenal in its detail, and uh, that just speaks volumes for how good, a, how good a product this actually is, that it can outbeat a Mint Error Leopard Bar, which, you know, is really very cool. So here we go, this is the prospector himself with his pickaxe over his shoulder and his panning dish in his hand and his good old faithful mule by his side tracking through the uh, the midwest of the US to the gold fields and uh, yeah, it's a really kind of iconic image, it's you know that whole uh, go and make your own wealth and find your own wealth kind of image and it's just very very cool indeed. Uh, and that in itself is great, but then when you have the other side of the bar where you have this really amazing detail of the sextant, uh, it is absolutely fantastic, uh, even with the sort of rope motif there. Um, really, really cool. I'm very much a fan of these designs. I've got them in the copper version, I've got the coins in the copper version, but I have not got the silver ones. It's very difficult to get them over here in the UK, they're not very common, and when they do come up they often have quite a high premium on them because it's just not very common. So. Whenever I can find one at a decent price, like this particular one I got off the Silver Forum, it is just you know a standard bar, so that's why I'm holding it with my hands. It's really nothing to be um, worried about getting you know scuffed up or graded or anything. And in fact, this has got ever so slight toning uh, on it as well. Uh, you can't necessarily see that under the camera, but uh, from sort of the naked eye, you can see a tiny bit of toning, which gives it a little bit more character, which is very cool indeed. Um, but you know, the Prospector is is very cool. Uh, I do like these designs a lot and there are very many different prospector designs out there from different mints but this particular design is um, called the Provident Prospector it's made by Provident Metals and I think it's minted by the Elemental Mint um, but yeah they are very very good very very nice pieces indeed uh, and I'm really happy with this one as I said I got it off the Silver Forum a really really good price certainly compared with what you might pay second hand through eBay uh, in here, over here in the UK, very cool indeed. But you know, I just love the detail on this, and for just a kind of standard piece of bullion, uh, you know, and often in America when these come out there, or when they came out, they were not that expensive over spot. So it's really very good bullion to pick up, and very attractive, and you can kind of see the detail there. I'm trying to get a, a you know profile side on view of it, and uh, I hope you guys can see it's really sort of very good, very good detail indeed. So there we go. That's the Prospector bar. Do comment in this video what your thoughts are on it. I really like it. I think it's a very cool little thing. Uh, you know, I'm going through my little collection of bars, and I think this is probably one of my favourites of the bunch. Just a really, really nice piece in general. So let me know your thoughts. Do comment on this video if you've got some, if you like them, if you've got them, or if you're going to get them as well from having watched this video. Uh, please do let me know your thoughts. Now, next week we have some. New, well, we have one new coin to vote on. So here's the returning coin, the leopard. Uh, so that one is going to be an interesting one to talk about when it comes along. It's a very, very cool coin. Uh, interesting reverse as well. Uh, so very, very interesting. Obviously, it's the Mint Era 100 Cedis version. And then the other coin to talk about is the Tom Kitten New Beatrix Potter 50p coin that's come out. And uh, this is an interesting little coin uh, in itself. So I want to talk about that at some point. Uh, now, the anniversary episode in episode 52. So next week, we're going to be looking at either of these. And then the episode 52 will be a different coin to these. And, and uh, so you'll have to vote for either or this time, and then maybe one of these coins will be revisited in the future. Otherwise, if you could stick a thumbs up on this video and share it around on your social media, that would be very helpful indeed. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please hit that subscribe button and that little alarm bell, because then you'll get notifications when I upload videos. Uh, and also, you'll get future episodes of In Focus Friday, and you can catch all of the previous episodes in the playlist below as well. 
Otherwise, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend, and please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.